Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And I am so excited for today's video because guys, today is Veterans Day when I'm filming this, which means that my favorite thrift store, everything is half off today and tomorrow. So if it's great today, we might have to go back tomorrow. So I got up early, I am wiped out. I did a posh show last night, had a major asthmatic coughing fit, love that for me. Um, but I'm up this morning, we're still going. Jeremy doesn't have to work today, so we're going together. It's gonna be so much fun. Grab my little think bar so I can get high on that protein for a good full day of thrifting. I'm so excited. I'm gonna hit the shoe section probably first. I'm gonna send Jeremy to the jeans section. I've got to look at dresses. We're looking for some stuff for GU too, so I'm excited. And hopefully we can find some things that I can resell for at least around $100. That's always my hope. That's like the grail when I'm thrifting. Um, but I'm sure I can find many amazing brands and things I can sell between 35 and 50. And I love those things. Those are great bread and butter for me. So we are going to head to the thrift store together. I'm gonna to take you guys with me, of course. And then when I get home, I'll show you everything that I found. I'm assuming it's gonna be a big haul because everything's half off. So I'm expecting to find at least 50 items today. So it's gonna be a big one. <laughs> Let's finish eating. Let's hit the road. We gotta get Starbucks, Jeremy. I need Starbucks for the road. What do you say? Yeah. Woo. Okay. So we got to head out. We're heading onto the road, but I'm taking you guys with me. So let's head out together. People started running. Well, just that guy in the sweatshirt going to the men's section. I love that. It's in the men. What is it? Akafe. Oh, okay. Urban Outfitters? Yeah, is it with the men? I thought it was cool. I like that, yeah. I thought it was good at that. I think that's probably yes. I'm filming right now. As I'm. Where did you uh, stop over here? Right around here, I think. Okay, I'm almost on this side. I don't really find as much on this side. Probably because yeah. it's easier to look through for people. So we should probably be. Weed? Well, I mean. Our cart <laughs> Your cart looks fine. For GU real quick. Hold it for me. Yeah. So, so hard to show the size again. So sad. I know. It's a nice piece. I don't think I can get that out. It's just like sunk into it. Yeah. It's in the... There's more than one. I'm gonna say no. Here's the sorting. These are yeses. <laughs> and these are things we still have to go through. That was my cart. This was Jeremy's. So what is that even? Daily ritual. Oh, I grabbed those. Those are anthropology. Oh. A medium. I just don't know if they're good because they're just kind of plain. But they're only a dollar fifty. So I'll think about it. Cute. Very cute. This is one of the ones you missed. Ooh. <laughs> That's okay. I love this. Look how cute. My first time. I'll see a tag of that one. I've this one's cute, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Free people? Show the tag? Yeah. So hard, they put it right on the tag. Free people. Okay, guys. 
guys, we are back home and it is a few days later. And let me just say, this was probably the best thrifting experience of my life. It was so good. It was really, it was really busy. Like, don't get me wrong. The thrifting itself was crazy, but I was so glad that I had Jeremy there with me. We were only there for about an hour and a half. That's all Jeremy was like willing to do. Maybe like two hours. He did a great job. Don't get me wrong. But because I had a second person looking for me, it felt like I was there for four hours with the amount of things I found, but with half the amount of work. It was very nice, but everything was half off, at least like all the clothes, shoes, and accessories, and that's all I was really looking at. They were all half off. In total, I spent like $167, and I got so much. This is probably my favorite thrift haul of all time. I ended up getting, let me look, I wrote it down, 58 items, and my cost of goods, when I divided out my cost for each piece, it was $2.89 per item. So let's just round to $2.90. $2.90 per item. And I would say a majority of pieces are probably gonna sell for around 50 bucks. So it was an amazing time. We're gonna jump to the thrift haul. This is gonna be a two part video because we have 58 items. But let me show you this pile down below. Let me, let me just toss you down there real quick. Can you see that pile? It is absolutely insane how many things I bought. So we're gonna, we're gonna be here for a bit. There's a lot to get through, but it's gonna be fun. Like, I love these kinds of videos. I think it's so much fun to show you guys what I've been picking up. There's gonna be a lot of work for me though. So it's gonna take me a hot minute to get everything listed, but let me show you what I found because it was so good. Okay, let's start with the shoes. That is where I went first. I had Jeremy and I both get a car. I went to shoes. I sent him to jeans because he knows the jeans brands pretty well. And then after shoes and bags, I went over to the dress section and that's literally like all we did, I feel like. <laughs> but guys, last time I went there, I think I came home with what? Four pairs of Allbirds and a pair of Hoka's. Two pairs of Hoka's. And this time, I don't know what is with it. Maybe people just don't know this brand there, but I picked up at least three pairs of Allbirds again for five bucks a pair. So good. These were all marked at 10 bucks. So with the half off, everything was five. Oh, and then I also was able to use my um, rewards loyalty points, 10% off of everything on top of the 50% off. It was a good day. <laughs> so the first pair I have here are this marled gray pair of Allbirds. They are very nice. They're in great condition. These are their wool runners. If you guys don't know this brand, I would highly suggest learning it it just sells pretty quick it sells pretty well it has a little bit of wear on the bottom but these are also in my size and i happen to absolutely adore all bird shoes i think they're so comfy and i love this color so who knows maybe i'll keep them for a hot second and then this pair i thought was really beautiful too look at this like seafoam green colored pair what i like too is like they're in great condition these are a women's size eight those ones were a women's size nine Pretty good, not too much wear. You can see that they were marked at 11 and they were a yellow tag. Almost everything that I got was a yellow tag. So I'm wondering if that was like the thing that they were bringing out. They were maybe the new color, but these are a women's eight. And again, a wool runner. These retail for probably around 120 bucks and they last a long time and they're really high quality, super comfy shoes. And this is a really cute color. I love this light green. So for five bucks, um, I'll probably be able to resell those right around $40. And then what the heck, let's show you guys the third pair that I got. These are also my size, a women's size nine. And these are like a dark charcoal gray pair as well. Probably the least amount of wear. It says Allbirds back here on the back. And then here's the inside. Another pair of wool runners too. The wool runners are more expensive than their kind of normal it's not going to focus, but that's okay. Um, then there are normal pairs. It's the tree runners where there's more like a perforated fabric. So these are a good find, great color, wonderful size. And again, hopefully probably around $40 for each pair. So I need to get the other ones listed, but I have, I just had an influx of like eight pairs, nine pairs of all birds, which is so good. Okay. Let me show you guys the bags that I got. I had a coach bag in my my car i had a couple other bags but i found so many pieces of clothes i didn't like fall in love with a lot of bags i did pick up two little mini backpacks though i thought these were really fun so this was a new york yankees little baseball backpack i thought this was so cute we sell a lot of more like uh, sport apparel things this is from the mlb and it's actual um, genuine merchandise it has that cute little baseball in the back so cute this was marked at six dollars 
great condition for three bucks, less than $3. It was so worth it. I think that we can really sell this probably right around 30 bucks. We're heading um, into winter, so not the greatest time in the world to sell it, but I just still think it'll go. And then this one I picked up because this is so popular right now. I saw this pattern, I thought that was kind of fun. And then down here, this is a Stranger Things backpack. So this was probably sold at something like Hot Topic or something like that. It was marked at $8. So again, I got it for $2.89, but this is a cute little mini backpack in excellent condition. There's no signs of wear like anywhere. I thought that was really cute. So I looked up comps. There weren't as many of this kind selling on Posh. So I think that for this, I can probably resell it and get around like $35, right around 30. Um, I thought that was a cute one. I've not actually seen Stranger Things. So if you guys have, let me know. I know it's really popular. Um, do I need to watch it? <laughs> Maybe let me know in the comments down below. I know some people have very strong opinions about it, but I can, I can definitely see that it's gonna resell well. Okay, now Jeremy helped me look through the dress section too, and he did a great job. He missed some things that I found later, but he found some amazing pieces as well. This one, I am very proud of him for finding. This is a great brand. Look at this dress. It's kind of like a tiger print, animal print dress. I love the black contrast. It's very, very like nice and fitted, but very flattering to the bod. And then it has these shoulder pads in it. We have a zipper down the back, but guys, he found this. And this is from the brand Rebecca Minkoff. So he, my husband, found this Rebecca Minkoff dress. So cute. This was like something like $6 or something crazy. And I don't know how I'm going to figure out the size. It does feel like silk. Let's see. Oh, it's size six. Thank you, Rebecca Minkoff. 100% silk. So when 100% silk, Rebecca Minkoff dress with sleeves, very important, and shoulder pads in a size six. So cute, right? I would be shocked, although I have not sold a piece of clothing from Rebecca Minkoff yet. I would be surprised if I got less than like 80 bucks for that. I, that might be too much. 75, I'd be very happy with. So again, we're already off to a great start. And then Jeremy also found this adorable sweater. I love this neckline. This chunky like mock neck is so cute. It's a nice, gray chunky sweater and this is from the brand point sir which he said that he didn't even know this brand but he thought it was cute and i was like oh point sir is owned by a j crew so that's a great pickup jeremy so this one's in a size small and it also has alpaca in it I'm yeah so it's 10 percent alpaca and 30 percent merino wool then just some other fabrics in there too but for that i looked up comps i think can sell that probably around 50 bucks which i would be very happy with and I also want to say too, I had such a great experience too in this store. I meet subscribers quite often because I've shown this store so much, but I met Gabriella this day and she was so nice and it was such a great experience. So if you're watching Gabriella, thank you for coming up and saying hi. If you guys ever see me out and about, definitely come up and say hi. I love meeting you. Thank you so much for coming and saying hi and your children were adorable, but next piece. So I've already gone through and taken off everything's tags because I knew how much my average cost of goods was for each piece. But guys, I got such great deals. I just looked at my receipt again. I did spend $167. I supposed to spend, I think 190 something dollars, but then I had the 10% off. And then also if I did not have, if this wasn't a sales day and I didn't have that 10% off, I would have spent like $400. Isn't that crazy? But instead I spent 167. And look at this next pair of boots that I got. These are a pair of bear paws, but when I saw this like platform with the rainbow, I was like, those are cute. So look at the back here. These are a pair of bear paws and these are in pretty good condition. Like they have a little bit of wear, but not very much to the toes for spending like $3 per item, super worth getting. I sold quite a few pairs of bear paws for good money. They're not like my favorite brand of boots to resell. I think I prefer selling Uggs, but they do really well depending on the style. These I think should be popular because they're very cute. And then the bottoms too are in absolutely beautiful shape. They don't look like they've been worn very much. And these are a size, let's see, it is sheepskin, that's good. These are a US size seven. And I do have all of the information on the inside, so that's great. So I'm thinking for these, I'm probably gonna be able to resell these. I would say around, probably because this looks like it might be unique, maybe 75 but I have not had a chance to look up all the comps yet. So that's a rough guess. 
And then another pair of boots that I picked up is this pair of bogs. And these are kind of a fun print from bogs. Bogs are like these pull on waterproof, like rain boots. They're really good for winter too, cause they feel nice and thick. And they have these easy like pull on holes. I found a pair of little kids bogs too. I decided not to grab those because I had so many pairs of shoes, but I did grab these adult size ones. And so these are in excellent condition. The bottoms look wonderful. These were a great price. I think I paid like $4 for these. And these are in a women's size 10, which is a great size. So these are probably just gonna go up on Poshmark because these are kind of heavy. But I think that this should do well. I've sold one pair of bongs before. I think they sold around like 35 to 50 bucks. So I'm expecting about the same for these. Although since they're such a cute print, maybe more on that 40 to 50 kind of line. Okay, and then another Jeremy find. He found this chunky knit sweater from Madewell. I'm a sucker for Madewell. This is a size extra large Madewell sweater. I have been more and more picky with Madewell lately, but this was like $2. So for that price, I was like, yeah, I should pick that up. And I do believe this also has, yeah, it's 60% merino wool, 40% nylon. So it's a great mixture of fabrics. It's just been harder to move things like this lately, but this might be something I put in a posh show. If it's harder to move quickly, but it's still a great piece. I like to put those sorts of pieces in posh shows because I want high quality items in there. And this is a great way for me to do it, to find some great deals and also be able to get somebody a really nice piece. So look at the cable knit on that and these fun little buttons at the top of the neckline. I think that's a gorgeous piece. If I'm going to list that, I'll probably list it probably right around 40 to 50, maybe 35 to 50. And then if I do it in Posh I'm probably only gonna sell it for like 20, 25 bucks. But either way, still happy with that pickup. And then I am obsessed with this jacket. This is so cute. This is the only jacket I think I bought. Look at this. This is so trendy right now. I have a feeling that my sister is gonna steal this when she comes to visit. This is a Levi Strauss corduroy brown jacket, right? With Sherpa on the inside, so cute. It is dark brown, we have pockets, we have a collar, and it's just so nice. It's in a size extra large, and this is what it looks like. I know it's a little dark. I'm definitely not wearing the right thing to go underneath this. I feel like a turtleneck would be so cute under this, but look at this on me. With that collar, it is so cute. Again, not the right outfit, but it is a really nice jacket. So cute. And I'm pretty sure this was like marked at like $7 or something crazy. So I hate this like for like, I got this for like three bucks. So I feel like this is probably gonna end up being my sister's. I have a feeling about it, um, but I grabbed that. If I sell it, I bet I can sell this for at least 50 bucks. I think it's absolutely insanely pretty. I love all the white fur lining, like the Sherpa lining on the inside. That's a really nice piece. <laughs> so I grabbed that, probably gonna be part of my sister's like thrifted Christmas gifts. If not, I could probably make 50 bucks. And then we have here a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans. I really enjoy selling the dojos, but some of the other ones do well as well. These are the high waist ankle skinny jeans. And I did look that up before I bought. I went through everything in my cart. I had two giant carts full of things and I looked up comps for everything. These are in size 27 and the comps look like these were selling right around like 35 to 40 bucks. And these were marked at $5. So I got these for less than $3. So that helped even out my cost of goods. Most of the jeans and pants I found were listed between like three and $5. So that is always helpful. And then this pair of pants I got because these are from Anthropology. They're from the brand Daily Ritual in a size medium. So this is an anthropology brand, one that does not tend to sell for tons on Poshmark, but these were just a nice pair of like skinny black pants. They got some nice stretch to them. They are a pull on style. And so I grabbed these because I was like, I've been doing so many, I don't wanna just keep on talking about posh shows, but I've been doing a lot of like anthropology in my posh shows. I felt like that was a good pickup to put in a posh show. It's really cute and a good, nice like staple piece. So if I list it, I'll probably list it around 30 bucks. If I sell it in a posh show, probably around like 20, 25 maybe. Then next up, one of my favorite pieces, um, not to put Jeremy on blast, but he definitely did not uh, see this one, but also in his defense, I've never found it before. 
This is a beautiful Draper James piece. My first time finding Draper James. I know it probably is not selling for as much as it used to, but I was still excited. It's from Draper James in a size small. Look at this beautiful dress. It's got a puff sleeve. The belt is on the wrong way, but we're just gonna live with it. And then a gorgeous tiered skirt. Is this not so cute? I love the blue and yellow floral print. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope for this I can get around 50 bucks. I think it's so pretty. I really like it. It looks like it runs a little oversized. And then it is, let's see, 100% polyester. And I also, it's from fall 2021. So that's not a very old piece at all. That's great. Um, and if it came from the fall line, that would be a good fall piece. So I grabbed that. I'm obsessed. I was very excited to find that. Um, I was over the moon. I found quite a few brands I've never found before on this trip. And I was just very, very excited. I'll show you another one too. Like this one, I was so excited. The only time I've ever found this brand was when I went to Last Chance in Chicago, like a Nordstrom Rack outlet kind of a place. This is Dress the Population, which I was so, so excited about. There is the tag, it's in a size small. And it is this kind of like snake skin print short mini dress with I believe faux leather around the collar but I don't know for sure because they took out the inside tag so it does feel really nice it could be real leather it feels like it's 100% silk but again I don't have that inside tag which is really frustrating anybody else get frustrated when they take out that tag but I did find this brand for the first time and it wasn't marked up. This was like, I think I paid like three bucks for this. And it's this gorgeous long sleeve dress. If you don't know Dress the Population, a lot of their more, especially their formal gowns can go for a lot of money. Um, but yeah, this one, I'm not sure. When it was so cheap, I knew I was gonna grab it. I'm assuming I can probably resell this between 50 and 75. That's the hope at least, such a fun find. I was finding so many new brands and it was making me so happy. And this is another one of those. I don't know if I've ever found this before or at least not at a price that I could pick up. She needs a steam, but look at this beautiful dress too. I love their dress section. I always find amazing pieces. It has this gorgeous little ruffle on the bottom. It has these cool sleeves with another ruffle here. It's belted as well and it has a keyhole neckline. This is from Reese, Reese London, which also is a great brand. And this is in a US size six. I love the color and pattern on this. And I really, really think this, sh this should do well. I looked up comps and I was thinking that this will probably sell around a hundred bucks. Gorgeous dress, absolutely stunning. Again, needs a steam. It's 100% viscose, um, but it feels like really nice. It feels like a good, almost like a silk, to be honest. But it's absolutely stunning. I think it's like a feather print. I love the cut to that. So found some really exciting dresses. Ah, I'm really happy with that one. And then I found this sweater hiding in the men's section. I actually ended up picking up this sweater and two shirts that were all three together in the men's section. This is a really cute chenille sweater from the brand Pole, P-O-L. I've only found this brand before really like in the bins and picked it up, but I just thought this was a cute sweater. I felt like for this season, I thought it would do well. It's a size small, just a really sweet and soft sweater, definitely oversized. I love the colors on it. I'm thinking for that, I can probably resell it probably around $35. I think I've sold quite a few sweaters from them from the bins for around that same price. And then I also grabbed this little dress. This is a J. Crew dress and it's this gorgeous white eyelet detailed dress. It has all these different ruffles with the eyelet detailing. It's very cottage core, really just dainty and pretty. And it is completely see-through. So this might have been like a beach cover-up moment. I'm thinking with maybe that tie, it's a little beachy, but I just thought it was absolutely darling. And for J. Crew pieces, I've been selling them pretty well lately. So I grabbed it, it's in a size small, and I'm expecting probably around $35 for this dress. I think it's pretty, and I do think that when I looked up comps for like white eyelet detail J. Crew dresses, they were selling for around 50. So since this one's not lined, 
I think 35 is pretty reasonable. We'll see how that shakes out, but I thought it was gorgeous. And then this brand is another first time pickup. I found it one other time at the same store and I was going to grab it, but then I found a hole in the crotch and so I left it. This is actually a pretty good bolo in my opinion and very unique. I found this in the dress section, but this is by the brand Romper Jack. And this is actually a men's wear line of like rompers and jumpsuits. So very unique and it's this really cool floral print piece. It has buttons up the front and it has belt loops and also like some elastic at the back. So super cool. Like if you are a fashion forward guy, this is a great piece for you. It is new with tags as well. So it's a size small. New with tags from Rumper Jack and comps for these were about 50 bucks when they weren't even new with tags. So. I'm thinking at least 50 for this. And I believe that that was marked at selling like $5. They were obviously confused about what it was. <laughs> so I grabbed that and hopefully we can resell it for around 50 at least. And then I also, as they just were putting this out in my dress section while I was looking through it. And I was very excited because I think this is such a cute fall piece. And this is a free people dress. Look at this cutie pie free people cord dress in this gorgeous dark orange. It's beautiful. It's got a velvety feel to the corduroy and it's in a free people size medium. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely like a mini and it has buttons all the way at the front. Like imagine this with a turtleneck underneath. This is so cute. I think that this will go quickly. At least I'm hopeful. This is a size medium. There's the free people tag. And if this is a more recent piece too, I bet I could get some really good money for this. It's 57% cotton and 41% polyester, 2% spandex. So I'm gonna look up, I'll probably do a reverse image search with my Google lens and hopefully we can find a stock photo because I feel like stock photos really sell free people items. But I thought that that color was so good. So for that, I'm expecting at least, I'm hoping 50 bucks, maybe more like 75. If it's a more recent piece, I do think I could probably get that. So perfect piece for fall and winter. I love that. So I'm going to show you guys two more pieces. I am honestly, this is probably my favorite piece of the whole haul. If you guys are liking the video today, make sure to go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm going to save my favorite one for the end. Let's do the boots first. These are another good find. I did find a pair of Ugg boots and these were not crazy. Like sometimes they mark things up absolutely ridiculously, but these were marked at $13. So like five bucks at the end of the day for this pair of Ugg boots in like this chestnut brown. They have a little bit of wear, but they're in great condition for, for a pair of Ugg boots. I feel like they're in great, great, great condition. And then they have this amazing color to them. Really good. Not a lot of wear. They're Kulabura by Ugg. And then these are in a women's size six. So I think for these, I can probably get around 50 to 60 bucks. They do sell well for me. And these ones are in really good condition, I believe. So I'm, I'm expecting around 50 bucks for those. What a cute color for fall and winter. And the inside too, looks like it's in really good shape. And then probably my favorite piece I found was when I was putting some discards back on the putback rack. I saw this on the putback rack. And I was absolutely so excited about this. Look at this Sherpa piece with the leather details. Absolutely stunning. It's a nice cream, really plush piece. And this is my first time ever finding just a straight Tucker Nuck piece. I found a pomander place thing that is sold on Tucker Nuck. If you don't know Tucker Nuck, it's kind of like a revolve situation where you're selling lots of other brands on your site, things that are really like high quality and well-made. So that's Tucker Nuck too, at least to my understanding. But this is a new tags Tucker Nuck piece. Absolutely shocking to find this new tags in a size medium. My guess is they donated it maybe because it was oversized. This fit me and I'm like more of a large extra large and it is absolutely darling. It's in excellent condition and never worn. And I was researching right before this video, I had looked up how much Tucker Nuck pieces were going for on Poshmark. I didn't look this up. I just bought it, but these 
were selling something similar to this, not the exact color scheme. And I think this one's more desirable, not new with tags sold for $90 a couple weeks ago. So I'm thinking I can sell this for around $100. It is 100% polyester and you can machine wash it, which is huge. I just think that this is so cute. I love this so much. And just like the accent of the faux leather detailing along it, along the edges and on the pockets, it's absolutely darling. I'm so happy with this piece. So she should sell for around $100 and she is just a sweatshirt, you know? So good. So again, tuck your neck, don't sleep on it. Such a good find, such a good haul so far. We have so many more pieces even. Let me show you the damage we've done to the pile. Still got quite a few pieces to show you, including some shoes very a lot of jeans as well it's gonna be great so hopefully you'll see that video coming out very soon stay tuned but again we we paid 167 dollars for all of this this is only half of it so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the second half of the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having an amazing day i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video bye <laughs>